Turning your brand into laser sharp focus, and providing the everything thing you need to happen to your message pet. and strategy. So if you want to learn how you can be that person, get down to your local pet shelter or visit the shelterpetproject.org. <laughs> Brought to you by the Ad Council. The Redshift Riders Revenue Flight Plan brings your brand into laser sharp focus, providing everything you need to perfect your message and strategy. They cover the most important strategic elements of your brand positioning you to solidify market share and accelerate earnings. Request your revenue flight plan at www.redshiftwriters.com forward slash flight plan. www.redshiftwriters.com forward slash flight plan. All right, and welcome back to the Executive Entrepreneur Hour with Johnny Profit. I have Mimi on the uh, call right now. We were just discussing how she was going to turn her dream of going super big and buying an island and moving off somewhere uh, into a business. Mimi, you still there? Yes, sir. Excellent. Okay, so, yeah, I'm familiar with most of the programs here in Houston um, and the local area when it comes to business development, and they all do a great job of helping you package your business, helping you get your business very efficient, very lean, very effective. Uh, my job is more on the high-level strategy side of first placing you in, in, in um, wealth's way to get you in the right place, saying the right things, doing the right things. So um, just real quick, because we got a little time, how are you going about finding ideas now? How am I going about? Yeah. How do you well, get your ideas? What, what I do is I just, you know, basically cold call, going to my neighbors.
operation that yields incredible returns. We even offer easy financing. Call us at 877-PTV-0660 or get started at www.presentthevision.com. Wildfires burn millions of acres each year. And each year, wildland firefighters like Fire Chief James Hall battle to contain them. But they can't do it alone. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. It can ignite and destroy your home, your community, or more. That single ember can be just as dangerous as the wildfire itself. But you can do something firefighters can't. You can act now to prepare your home and your community for wildfire. You can reduce the risk. Do your part. Go to fireadapted.org. Get fire adapted. Learn what you can do now to reduce wildfire damage later at fireadapted.org. A public service message brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Learn more at fireadapted.org. News 92 FM, 92.1 FM, and streaming live at news92fm.com. And welcome back to the Executive Entrepreneur Hour with Johnny Profit. The number up here is 713-622-6397. Again, the number is 713-622-6397. If you got some questions or you got a little insight to share with the other executive entrepreneurs around the world, give us a call. So, another thing I want to touch on, because this is one of the last shows I get to just get on my soapbox and, you know, stomp my feet. One of the things that I have to share with many of you is getting confused between people and entities. And so many business owners get so frustrated with government and corporate and small business, and they fail to understand that those are entities. Those are status um, articles filed. Those are, those are non-human um, beings. And, and you lose sight that it's about owners, working class folks, poor folks, and consumers. Those are the people. And so in that group of working class folks, they're spread out amongst government, corporate, and small business. But for some reason, you never think of business as P to P, person to person. And so you'll walk up to me at these meetings and say, oh, well, I'm, I'm B to B and I'm B to C and I'm, I'm G to V. And I'm thinking, no, everybody's P to P. Because no matter how far back you go in time, business is about who knows you and who you know and how well y'all can connect. Which takes me to another point of social media. Now, I did a lot with social media. I also have all my friends. You guys can say hi. I don't know if they can hear you. Just say hi. Everybody's in the studio. We have a lot of people in the studio. Hey, yeah, I'm not. If you're watching us online at, uh, what's, our, what's our site, Jesse? E.E. Hour. E.E. Uh, e. Hour. If, you're, if you go to Ustream, you can actually watch us. Yeah, you watch me. We only got one camera running today because we don't have a guest. So, but um, the point is, I want you to start understanding everything's P to P. P to P. And if you're... you're P, your P is small, network-wise, you're going to run into trouble. You know, that's why I do have problems scaling up with engineers. So we partner them with other P's, people, that love to go out and be social butterflies. And it's okay to partner up with people. I know there's a huge stigma with, you know, you can't trust people and you just you can't make it happen. I'm proud to say this is my first year. There's one, there's four of us, there's five of us in the studio right now. And I must admit, with wonderful people like Martha, and Josephine, I had a huge network now. And so now I'm able to tackle incredibly large projects that once before I would have never had to bandwidth. So if you're out there trying to be the solo entrepreneur because you're cutting your teeth, you're learning how to do this, that's okay, sort of. But slow your roll and start to think about you need to build a network. And how do we build trust? One, we hang around each other. Two, we have a common goal. And three, we put it in writing. That way we don't have any passive-aggressive moments where we're trying to figure out who's doing what. So with that said, okay, I'm going to stop right there on the people thing. It's a people thing, folks. The next thing I want to talk about has to do with the owner part. Because I mentioned earlier when I was talking to Mimi, like, we all, well, I won't say it. I'm, I'm taking for granted. You should have a pretty good idea where all the money in Houston comes from. If you go to Forbes and you look at the top, 500 or even the top 1,000 companies uh, in the world, many of them are located right here in Houston. And if you look next to them, you can see how much annually they bring in. And if you stop and think about the trillions or half a trillion dollars that's reported, why aren't you getting your share? 
Why are you worried about selling individual packets of something to individual people? Because if your dreams are to go big, you have to do big things. But they don't have to be fancy. They don't have to be over the top. But if you're out there and you're just you're beating your head against the wall and you're thinking, man, I sure wish I knew what business to go into. I sure wish I had someone to help me. I'm up all night and I just I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. You need to join us on a meetup. That was a good segue, huh? So we're having meetups on Tuesday nights uh, at Genghis Grill on, uh, I think it was uh, Kirby, between Westland, across from Lakewood Church. There's a Genghis over there. So if you ever want to hang out with us, you can also go to Meetup to Houston Executive Entrepreneur and get into our Meetup group. Uh, we have about 242 people in there now. We're going to try to ramp that up to you know a couple thousand of go-getters. But what we'll do at each of those meetups is similar to the show. The show will always be the same. When someone comes on air, I'm going to ask them, where does your money come from? I don't want to know how successful you are. I don't, I don't want to know all that. You can go on other shows on air and talk about in 52, you bought this and you went to this school. I don't care about that. Where's the money coming from? Who's buying? What are you selling? What are we exporting? What's happening? Then what we want to know from whoever's on, whoever comes into the studio or whoever we see or uh, talks to it, uh, talk to us at the meetup is who's in charge? Who do I actually need to contact? Don't send me to the privileged person that's protecting power. In other words, don't send me to the person who actually runs the stuff or, or uh, send me to the person who protects the person that runs the stuff. Send me to the signature authority individual. And then after that, we're going to find out, hey, what can they do to be part of your, your group, your network, your ecosystem, your social, um, your, your social economic um, pack? And then lastly, we're going to get you up to speed on what you need to learn. And just like I told Mimi, for every person within the sound of my voice, if you don't understand numbers, you don't understand business. I don't care how many people you got on Facebook or how many fans you got on your page or how many people you got following you on LinkedIn or how many business cards you hand out per week. If you cannot understand accounting, and I'm just going to say it a lot. I mean, we're going to go to accounting backers or uh, sponsors, but if you don't understand it, you're going to lose, and you're going to lose big. After that, I want you to understand finance because so often you get mad at organizations that don't spend money with your community or don't spend money with your group or don't do something that displeases you. First of all, that means you're on the losing team. But secondly, what it means is you don't understand the nature of the game, which is every owner of any capacity is always at war with another owner. It's our job here in Houston to, to bring in revenue, whether it be through tourism and visitors or whether it has to do with um, our export of raw materials. So with that said, it's weird when you're on here by yourself, you know. Hey, you guys call in at 713-622-6397. That's the number up here. We're going to go find out once again what's happening in the streets. News 92 FM, weekend traffic. To update you on this I-10 Baytown freeway accident, which had the freeway shut down at the East Sam Houston Parkway. The left lane is still blocked there, as well as the feeder roads. So you got about a 45-minute drive from downtown to San Jacinto. Not quite all, all open yet. I-10 eastbound between the West Sam Houston Tollway and Campbell. Watch for slow traffic there. I-45 outbound between Airline and the North Sam Houston Parkway. It's a 35- to 40-minute drive from downtown to the Woodlands Parkway. Get traffic and weather every 10 minutes on the nines on News 92 FM. I'm KGU 11 News Meteorologist Mario Gomez from the News 92 FM Weather Center. Well, so far, we're hurricane-free for 2013. It doesn't look like we're going to see any hurricanes this weekend either. So with that in mind, we're off to the races in terms of our chances for showers. Still tropical moisture around. Uh, the Gulf Coast will be treated to daily rain showers Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, perhaps even through Thursday. Our extended forecast shows a 30% chance of rain tomorrow, a 40% chance of rain today. Temperature sitting to low to mid-90s. And then on Monday, we continue with that trend of isolated to scattered rain showers during the afternoon. Rain chances will continue at 30% on Monday, 30% on Tuesday, and then a 40% chance of rain with a fresh surge of tropical moisture moving in, dropping temperatures into the low 90s by Wednesday and Thursday afternoon. From the News 92 FM Weather Center, I'm KHU 11 News Meteorologist Mario Gomez. Do you want to succeed in business? Well, here is a fact. Everyone can't win. But if you attend the Power, Privilege, and Perception Boot Camp, sponsored by the Executive Entrepreneur Hour, you will definitely have an unfair advantage moving forward. Stop working like a great business manager. Start thinking like a smart business leader. Go to johnnyprofit.com. That's J-O-N-Y-Profit.com. 
to register for this mind-blowing, liberating event. No other business training even comes close. I remember, I remember the moment. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. A storage tank ruptured, and for miles, chemicals were pushing up against the riverbanks. This was a big, big deal, and it was going to have a serious impact on communities up and down the river. I remember the moment this local guy came up to me and said, they call the guard out for this stuff? You probably thought we were all about hurricanes, tornadoes, fighting Mother Nature. Hey, it's a chemical spill. It's a disaster. It affects the water supply, threatens wildlife. We're talking about the health of entire communities and people's livelihoods. You bet we're ready for these kinds of things. We were out there with booms to prevent the spill from expanding. We were responsible for protecting and monitoring the sensitive wetlands. I also remember the moment that same guy came up to me and said, I don't know what we would have done if they hadn't called the guard up. Learn more about how you can protect your friends, families, neighbors, and the environment. Everything that makes up your community. Go to NationalGuard.com. Sponsor of Texas National Guard. Aired by the Texas Association of Broadcasters and this station. In the real world, great opportunities don't just happen. If you want to achieve the absolute advantage over markets and rule the competition, then listen to News 92 FM every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. as the Executive Entrepreneur Hour with Johnny Profit guides you to the economic promised land. Each week, you will gain insight about his four key concepts for success. Find the money. Know who controls the money. What you need to know to get the money. And where you need to be to win. For more information, go to eehour.com. News 92 FM, 92.1 FM, and streaming live at news92fm.com. All right, let's get back to it. The number up here is 713-622-6397. Once again, it is 713-622-6397. During the break, I thought of something, something very important, something I completely just scolded and jumped on someone about the other night at a presentation. As adults, you can hear this show. You can go back and watch it later. There is no reason in this world you can't accept the fact that you have absolute knowledge surrounding you at all times. Why? Because you have Google search. I'm forever amazed how many people come up to me with questions and they're like, how do you do this? I don't know how to do that. Or what does that mean? The power of Google search is you can't measure it. And then when you top that with YouTube, there is nothing, absolutely nothing. The only reason you call this show is because I have a different perspective on business, and I can help you on the strategy side of things. But there is nothing, I've yet to find anything or anything in my mind that's like not on YouTube. So, for instance, you want to learn about venture capital. You want to learn all the stuff that my tech friends say when they come with the seed round and round A, B, C, Z, all the way up to uh, whatever. You want to know about finance, you want to know about oil and gas, you want to know how to start your own construction company. Someone, many someones, have already placed this on YouTube as a video. Then you have the public library. If you happen to take some courses with your local university, you have a library of books that is just, they spend hundreds of thousands to have these resources. Yet I see so many of you jump up and go to these workshops, and then when you get to the workshops and the trainings, you're still confused. When you leave, you're still confused. And then you go to another one. And I'm thinking, we're missing something here, people. You're missing something here. If you, you want to know, it's out there for the taking. And most of it's free. So I, I really want to just push that for a moment. Because every, I mean, you know, there, there was a lady or a guy or something the other day. And they started talking to me. And they're like, well, how do you do this? And how do you do that? And how do you do this? And I'm thinking, I know you're about my age, which means you're, you know, you're well over 21. So why are you asking me something that is probably sitting right there on your phone right now? Just click. Just type that same question into your phone, into your search engine, and start reading or start listening or start watching. So I challenge each of you, if you're really a go-getter, stop asking people what to do and start discovering what you need to do. I can't, I can't emphasize that enough. The social media workshop revolution blew my mind. Because the very people that put that together put out every single thing you needed to know. Yet most of you sat up in workshops spending tons of money and time learning the absolute basics based on what one person with one little sliver of experience wanted to share with you. When you had everyone from Matt Cuts on down sitting there explaining to you this is how it goes down. When it came to crowdfunding and crowdsourcing, oh, you're going to go to the workshops. When you can go online, and most of these people have done a TED presentation. They've been at MIT. They've been at Howard. They've been at 
all the major universities giving public speeches about their opinion, their position, and the resources available. So I'm going to say again, when you're dealing with me, there are no stupid questions. But as we tell our kids, you better go look up the answer or do your homework first. Because so much time is wasted, so much time is wasted, and so much money is wasted when completely capable individuals walk up to very knowledgeable people and ask very redundant, very simple questions you could have looked up on your own. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop right there because that was, that was a lot for a lot of people to deal with. The number up here is 713-622-6397. Now, there's a lot of events. Again, if you just Google, and I'm going to say it again, they're not paying me to say this. I'm telling you, it's just common sense before the rules change and it's no longer where you go. But you just go into a Google search engine, you put in Houston Business Events. And, of course, everything from the Biz Journal and everybody else, their information is going to pop up with a calendar of events that's going on. And you need to attend these events. Make schedule, make schedule out your month to attend events that make a difference, that put you around people that can utilize your ability, your talent, your services, and your passion. And let me close on passion. I'm a numbers person. I don't use passion. I love passion. I use passion for play. I don't use passion for business. So when people come to me and they're passionate about their business, I can't relate. Because a business is an investment tool. And yes, there are folks out there with lifestyle companies. I love it. I mean, one day I'll probably retire and, and set me up a nice little lifestyle company. But right now, it's about business. It's about money. The Executive Entrepreneur Show is about helping you make the maximum amount of money you can possibly put in your pocket without getting beat up, arrested, or hated. Although you're going to get hated on regardless as you climb the ladder of success. So with that said, two big things. What? Learn to Google search. Learn to Google search. Matter of fact, I have um, Daniel in the building with me. He's going to help me finish up the book. Um, but I I'm telling you, folks. Anything is possible to set your mind to it. Follow us during the week. Go on Facebook. You'll find everything we do and what we're planning on doing at EE Hour. That's E E H O R. Uh, anywhere on Twitter, Facebook, Ustream, wherever. So, with that said, it's been a wonderful time this week. And uh, go out there and, you know, be the best executive entrepreneur you can because uh, we're here to make big dreams and turn them into uh, big business. And uh, we'll see you next week. Want to know why Houston is the best place in the world to be a small business owner? Listen to News 92 FM every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. to the Executive Entrepreneur Hour and find out why. This team is dedicated to bringing you information that can fast-track your business concept. Instantly discover and apply the tips and tricks of the super rich to your small business. For more information, go to ExecutiveEntrepreneurHour.com. KROI Seabrook Houston. News 92 FM. News 92 FM. Weekend traffic. We got stop and go traffic starting at Normandy. And it's a 45 minute drive from downtown to San Jacinto River. Also, watch for slow traffic I 45 outbound between Airline and the North Sam Houston Parkway. It's a 35 to 40 minute drive from downtown to the Woodlands Parkway. Get traffic and weather every 10 minutes on the nines on News 92 FM. You got to stop and go traffic stop. From ABC News, I'm Joan Bennett. Small protests outside the White House.